All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about the convergence and divergence of infinite sequences. Okay, this may seem very familiar, and it should because we just did this with improper integrals when dealing with infinite intervals, you know, discontinuities, other things like that. Okay, so what's different here? Well, instead of dealing with a, you know, you can already see, instead of dealing with a line, right, instead of dealing with a connected line, we have dots. Okay, and that's because the n can only be, you know, you can only put in an integer, right? You can only have a first, second term, third term, fourth. You can't have a 4.5th term, okay? That doesn't make sense. So n can only be a integer, all right? Now, you can see here that, that as our sequence proceeds, right, as, as n gets bigger and bigger, it's approaching, a sub n is approaching l, okay? It's approaching l, you know, whatever you want that value to be, call it two, call it three, whatever, okay? So you kind of see here that as the limit, as n approaches infinity, is going to equal, you know, of a sub n is going to equal l, okay? Like I said, l can be, you know, whatever a sub n value you want it to be, okay? But you can see that this sequence is going to be convergent, okay? It's going to be convergent because that limit is not going to approach infinity, negative infinity, anything like that. It's approaching a finite value, which is going to be L, all right? So we're going to just go over a couple theorems that you're, you know, you're going to need to know. It's nothing really too um, out of the ordinary, right? It's going to be something that you'll take up perfectly fine. Uh, and then we're going to be doing some examples of all this stuff in the coming videos. So we're actually able to view a sub n as if it was f of x, because then we're able to use tricks like L'Hopital, okay? You know, when you have something in a limit, you get zero over zero, infinity over infinity, things like that. Well, now you can use L'Hopital by comparing a sub n to f of x, okay? As far as the, uh, you know, reason that we can't use L'Hopital for just, you know, our regular sequences and not have to worry about all this f of x stuff is because uh, apparently, L'Hopital's rule only works for, or only applies to functions of a real variable and not to sequences. So you have to just compare it to f of x. All right, so yeah, I mean, whatever. It All right, so here are some limit laws that you need to know, okay? These are just saying that, you know, a sub n, b sub n, they're gonna be convergent sequences and c is a constant. So, of course, I mean, you probably know most of these already, but uh, just to go over them for sequences, if you have the limit as n approaches the infinity of a sub n plus b sub n, then you can, sub you, can, you can break apart the limit to have a sub n and then b sub n separately added together. Um, you can, if you have uh, them subtracted, you could do the same thing. If you have the limit as n approaches the infinity of a constant, times, you know, a sequence, you can pull that constant out. If you just have the limit as n approaches infinity of a constant, well, the constant is independent of the actual um, variable, so you're just going to end up with a constant. As far as the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n, b sub n goes, well, you can just separate those and multiply them together uh, in, into each limit, okay? Uh, limit as n approaches infinity of two sequences being divided. You can also break that apart. And of course you can't have the limit as n approaches infinity of b sub n equals zero because then you have a mess. Okay, then you have, you know, zero in the denominator. You can't have that. And of course, if you have uh, the limit to be, to, to have an exponent uh, on the sequence, well, you can pull that exponent up providing that your exponent is greater than zero and a sub n is greater than zero as well. Okay. So there are just some quick limit laws. Most of them you already know, okay? Maybe the x.1 might be newer to you, but you, I don't even know that I've ever had to use that one before. Lastly, if you can prove that the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of your sequence equals zero, well, then the limit as n approaches infinity of uh, your sequence is just gonna equal zero, okay? So that's a little, you know, that might, come in handy that's a little nice thing there but uh yeah so now you uh now you should be ready to be able to do the example problems for this just proving 
whether a, con uh, a, a sequence converges or diverges, and that's going to be in the next couple videos, so I will see you then. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series in the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon!